What is going on you guys? I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over something really cool that I made for somebody. Now my costume reveal videos for Human Torch Mysterio and MoCap Mysterio are all still coming. Um, I said in a previous video that I needed to do some repair work on Mysterio, and that's still going on. It's almost done. I needed to repair a lot of the stuff on the suit because some costumes, when you take them to a convention, they take a little bit of a beating. Uh, but Human Torch is going to be coming within the next week. But in this video, I wanted to discuss something really cool that I made, which is a first for me. It is a completely custom uh, commission that I made for somebody. Uh, specifically, the Daredevil cow from season 2 and 3 of Netflix's Daredevil. Now, I was really excited to print this because, this is all 3D printed by the way, minus this base. Um, I'll get into all the details of everything, but I really wanted to do this because I absolutely love the design of the cowl from the Daredevil series. I remember when I saw the uh, first cowl in season one and I was kind of unimpressed by it because it just looked kind of weird. The nose was kind of fat and then they had this big black section on the forehead and it was like a dirty looking red color. I didn't really like the design of it at all. And so I was really happy when he got shot in the head by Frank Castle and they had to redesign a new cow for him, which was this one. Now, this file I got off of Thingiverse actually, made by this person here. And it is an absolutely beautiful cow. Um, I also designed the base from scratch, what it sits on. It sits on the billy club. This is uh, strictly a display piece, but it sits on the Daredevil billy club. I'll get into the close-up details of everything in one second, but I do want to discuss something cool that I made. When I made the display stand for this guy, I had to model in that knurling texture onto the handle, and after I did that, I kind of had an idea where I would make these. So these are, as you can see, they are Nightwing batons. And now, uh, one of my most popular videos on this channel is when I showed how to make really cost-efficient and lightweight Nightwing batons using only Home Depot materials. And I've seen a lot of cosplayers and costumers use that tutorial to make their own sticks, which I've seen at conventions, which is really, really cool. So after I made this stand, I was like, why don't I just make new sticks completely my own design, completely 3D printed. So, just a quick preview of these. There is the, the tip, which has that knurling texture on the tip, and then the in, inner section is a separate piece, which I painted with a metallic blue. Here is the knurling texture on there with, with a couple rings. And then these are the grips on this guy. And I wanted the grips on these guys to be really tactical, so I have this athletic tape wrapped around there, and it gives a really solid grip, and it feels nice to hold, and it offers a nice contrast with the rest of the stick, since it's kind of glossy. You get this nice matted, tactical-looking tape on there. Um, so I'm really pleased with these. If you're interested in these, I have them listed on my Etsy shop. I'll have a link in the description. I'm gonna have a version two of these with LEDs in the end, which are gonna be a little more expensive. These are $50 without the LEDs. With the LEDs, they're probably gonna be around $75 to $80, but it's gonna take this design to a whole new level. So hopefully you like these, they're in my Etsy shop. Let's get back to the Daredevil helmet. So let's take a look at the helmet. It's on the display stand via a magnet on top of there, as you can see, and there's also a magnet in the top of that the cowl. So I'll put that aside real quick. We'll take a look at the, the cowl. So this file is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, there's this beautiful uh, like studded pattern in here in the like the little black sections, which just looks beautiful. And I really love that contrast with the matted uh, satin finish on the black and then the glossy finish on the red. Uh, when it catches the light, it just that separation looks really, really nice to me. The lenses, I really wanted that rounded, shiny, shiny red lens uh, that he has in the show. Uh, when the light passes through it, I just really love how that looks. And what I used for the lenses was actually a translucent red Christmas uh, ornament that I found at Michael's. So as you can see in here, I just cut it to fit and then secured it inside. This is just a display piece again, so this isn't gonna be worn by anybody. Um, if this was gonna be a practical cowl, I would have separated it probably back here 
or along one of the seams on the actual cow so that it could have magnets attached so you can magnetize it to your head or cast it in a nice urethane so that it can flex over your head when you put it on so it can stay as one piece. But since it was a display piece, I printed it in one piece. So the way I went about making this, I printed it in two sections. I printed the top part and I cut it right about here and then I printed the rest of the cowl upside down so it was on a flat surface so there was not as many supports as there would be if I printed it like this or something. And then I fused the two together um, so I glued the top onto the rest of the cowl and then I fused it with like some um, Bondo spot putty, sanded the crap out of this thing, painted it with about two coats of primer, sanded it again, painted it with about two coats of satin black, and then I taped off all of the black areas, and then I painted it with about three coats of this really nice glossy crimson red, and then I went over that with a tester's acrylic wash. You could see all that texturing in there, that darker kind of muddy looking color in the red. I went over the cow with the tester's acrylic wash to get that blotchy look. And then I went over it with about two coats of clear gloss, and it gives it this really glossy, shiny look. But when you come up closer, you can see that that muddled kind of dirty look to it, but it still retains its gloss. And I really, really like it. I really love the glossy lenses. Really pleased with how this thing came out. This is the first time I really have painted a full piece like this for somebody, so hopefully you guys like it. I got this little wooden base at Michael's and just painted it with a satin black. So I modeled the Daredevil logo in Fusion and then I printed it out, sanded it like crazy again, sprayed it with a couple coats of the same red I used on the cowl, and then I just painted the rest with a black acrylic and I kept it looking kind of messy and a little bit splotchy when the light hits it. I just like the kind of grimy look that the base has. And now the the baton is permanently attached to the display stand because that's just what the, the customer wanted. But this was really fun and also really tricky to model to get this knurling texture done right in here. But it's really fun to do and I'm really pleased with how it came out. There's the bottom part of the baton. So it's literally just a baton from Daredevil. I could have found a full baton file and just printed it out but I wanted this to be specific so that it could fit on the display stand correctly and I needed to alter the size of it a little bit so the helmet would fit on correctly. Like I said before you just have a magnet up there and there's a magnet underneath the cowl. I wanted it to sit like flat so it wouldn't wobble around so it just pops on like so and then it sits right on there. So let me know what you guys think of this piece. I really love doing custom commissions like this. Again, I'm always open to these kind of things. If you want to shoot me a DM or an email, uh, if you have a concept that you want me to consider, I'd be more than happy to do that because this was so much fun. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I'm gonna start offering these on my Etsy shop as wearable cowls as well. So stay tuned for that, but anyway, Stay tuned for my costume reveal videos, and then I have a lot of other things coming up as well. Uh, the Nightwing suit has just recently been revealed for Titans, and I'm really considering making it, because one of the next cosplays I wanted to do was my own version of Nightwing, but that armor is really tempting. I really want to print it and paint it, because I love that metallic blue that they used on the chest, and certain elements of it just look like they'd be so much fun to work on. But anyway, stay tuned for more videos. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading consistently again. It's kind of becoming my thing. Thank you guys for being patient. Please stay tuned. Mysterio is coming soon. I know you guys really want to see that costume. I really want to show you. Really want to put it on again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, this is Luke101.